training session for at home cardio boot camp class and all you're gonna need for today is a medicine ball just one medicine ball I have a couple different variations to switch them up you have different ones you can have different you have a couple different weights available or different types of medicine balls if you have them then you could you could get get them out separate for a different exercise if you need to switch up your weights but you really only need one medicine ball only one of the rounds has slamming. If you, if you don't have a type of ball you can slam, you'll just go through the motions of the slams. It's not a big deal. It's just one exercise per round that actually has a slam. We are going to be using the medicine ball for the entire workout, though. We're going to be in, in a push-up position doing a type of medicine ball exercise, a different type of a jumping jack with the medicine ball, and different core stuff and different slams. So a few different ways of using it. All exercises are using the medicine ball. If you don't have a medicine ball, just get some kind of replacement. Anything you can hold with some weight that you can just hold and move around, whatever, a, ga a gallon of water, whatever works for you. So get yourself a medicine ball. We're also going to do a warm up. You can see back here somewhere, right there. You can't see my finger. Why can't you see my finger? A band. We're going to do a couple exercises on a band to show you how you could probably warm up your entire body. If you have a set of bands, you get a time to a doorknob or coming from the wall or loop them around something if you have bands. So it's going to go through a quick. Full upper body warm with the band, stretch the lower body, get warmed up. Then we're gonna hit a warm up round with that medicine ball, and then we'll get to the actual rounds with the ball where we're mixing it up in the different stations. We're gonna start with a band here back on the wall. If you don't have a band, use a light dumbbell or whatever you need to just to loosen up, to get your body moving, to get your freaking blood flowing. An uh, exercise band right here, you can see is attached to the pole. So we're just gonna start with the chest press. It's hitting about eight or 10 of each. It's gonna come in 90 degrees. My feet are straight across from each other. Head is up, chest is out, shoulders are back. And I'm just hitting the chest press. Back to 90 degrees, pushing it forward. Get all the major muscle groups in my upper body warmed up, getting them ready to work. We are going to be mixing a lot of different weird types of push-ups in this workout on your medicine ball. So we need this all warmed up. Press it out, drive it, breathe it, press it forward. Exhale as you push forward, in through your nose, coming back. Flip it right around. If you don't have bands, whatever. You get a band, we're doing a back row. Use this. You can do a light dumbbell with these. You can just do a bent over row. We're just going to pump through a few of these. And switch sides, left arm. Getting a row. We're going to stay facing your band. Move over here so you can see a different angle. A single arm bicep curl right here. Hand comes to your ear. Upper arm is parallel to the floor. Just getting the blood flowing. That's it. Switch it, left arm bicep curl. So we are going to go through a full warm up with the medicine balls also. And tricep, kick back. Just getting your blood flowing. You can easily do every one of these with the dumbbell, the light dumbbell, to get warmed up. Left arm kick back. And tighten up your shoes while you're down there. Screw it. Look at that. Alright, shake those arms out. So let's get those legs stretched out, quad stretches. It's Facebook, the way the angle goes, sometimes you can't see the ground, so I'll be moving this up and down so you can see. Quad stretch right here. We're gonna walk backwards with this quad stretch. Walking backwards, holding it for one to three seconds. Step on a ball, break your ankle. And then knee hugs, walking forward. Stretching those legs, get them ready to work. So quad stretches, walking backwards, and knee hugs, walking forward. Keep it rolling. So the quads coming back, knee hug, forward. Keep rolling, keep rolling. All right, fling that chest open. And stretch the shoulders. Fling it open, catch it, stretch the shoulder. Fling it, catch it, stretch the shoulder. You can follow right along. All you need is a medicine ball. The rest of the way here. Or something to replace the medicine ball. Something with a little bit of weight. Fling it. Stretch that shoulder. Full hour training session. You can follow along right from your house, right from any part of your house. You don't need any space. You don't need any room. So there's no freaking excuse. One more time each side. Stretch those shoulders out. Boom. Stretch it. All right, we're gonna come wide feet in the middle and stretch straight overhead. Stretch out your right foot and fling your chest open. Middle, stretch at the bottom, open up the upper back at the top. To the left, 
out to the side. Middle, arms go straight up to the right, arms are out. Middle, up, left, out. And just shake those arms. Forward shoulder circles while you're walking forward. Fling them, fling them. Bitch slap the camera. And backward shoulder circles walking backwards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Forward circles going forward. Knock shit over, knock lamps over, put a hole in the freaking wall. Doesn't matter. Get moving, get your blood flowing, get warmed up, ready to get your freaking freak on. Bring them back, fling them. And forward with forward shoulder circles, all the way up, all the way up in the grill. You can see those nose hairs and ear hairs. All right, we're gonna get warmed up on the floor, just with a regular set. You don't even need the medicine ball for this one, just 10 push-ups, simple. 10 regular push-ups to get started. Just to warm up the upper body. Your chest is gonna touch the floor, you're going all the way down. Breathe it out, nice and slow. Three, four, five, six. Keep it strong, abs tight. One more, good. Up on your feet. Abs gonna go 10 body weight squats. Abs are strong. Head is up, sit back on the hips and heels. Breathe it out. And the nose down, out to the mouth up. Drive it up. Good. Get your medicine ball. And you're gonna hold it at your chest. Just for a jumping jack. Legs jumping apart together. Pull the ball at your chest. Just getting warmed up. Abs strong. Five, four, bounce it, three. Two, one, time, drop it down, get a tricep stretch right overhead, and then fling down with a low chest fling, and then left arm tricep stretch. Fling it, right arm stretch, just getting warmed up, fling it, left arm stretch, write in the comments down below, where are you watching this from, where are you following along from, and right down there, if you're doing it live, if you're here with us, put a comment down below so I know you're here, following along live with us, so we can interact and keep you on your game and make sure you ain't bullshitting keep you flowing pick up your medicine ball right at your chest just pressing up shoulder press just for a few reps breathe it out as you push up we are still just freaking warming up drive it up there out there someone call during a boot camp class are you kidding and hold that at your chest and just go to squats right there squat into the nose down, out to the mouth up, drive it up. Whew. Sit in a few of each. Get the whole body warmed up. Two more. Whew. Keep it rolling, freak shows. Just getting blood flow and bicep curl. Pinch it from the sides of the ball. Squeeze it. A couple more. And hold your chest, you can hit a squat to a press. Squat, press up. Into the nose down, out to the mouth up. Inhale, exhale, squat, press. Almost knocked my damn hat off. Now we're gonna go curl the press. The legs get a break, but the shoulders don't. Go curl the press. So bicep curl to shoulder press. Breathe it out, shoot it up. Drive it up there, drive it up. Curl the press. And now you're gonna go squat to curl. Hold it straight down. Squat and curl it up. Squat, curl it up. Breathe it. In through those down, out through the mouth up. It's just a warm up circuit to get your freaking blood flowing, get your heart rate up a little bit, get ready for the real work. And good, toss it, fling that shit. Make some noise, especially if you're in an apartment, if you have neighbors below you. Make sure you're making all kinds of noise. Wake them up. Get them moving, get their blood flowing. Stretch those shoulders out, stretch them, stretch them. Just getting started. Shake it, stretch, get whatever other stretches you need to do. Get rolling. All right, so we're gonna start with these rounds. We're gonna start with a push-up. Push-up on your ball. Just your right hand on your ball, the other hand on the floor. Full set of push-up. 
Doesn't matter how many you do, you just go hard, you do what you can, you modify if you need to. We're all gonna switch together. So even if I say we're gonna do 10 of them, you're gonna switch when I switch. So we can stay together, stay on the same page, so you don't have anything to worry about. So just stay with me, stick with me. Don't worry about how many you get. Just worry about putting out. Worry about pushing hard, working hard, busting your ass, doing what you can, modify if you need to. So let's go. We're gonna start with a push up, with just your right hand on the ball. It's gonna change the angle of the camera. See that ball? Let's do it. Right hand on the ball. Okay, snap out of it. That's not acceptable. Right hand on the ball and a push up. Let's do it. Other hands on the floor. Full set. So it's a little uneven, unstable. We're just going to about 10. Nice and slow. Eight, two more. And good. We're going right into a regular ball slam. If you have different balls, you can switch it. So for my slams, I'm gonna use this bigger one, right to a ball slam. Go, start slamming. So reach it overhead, boom. Damn, I think I'm way back here to be on the camera. Stupid. Smash it. It doesn't reach that, it's good, it's low. Boom, smash it. All the way overhead. Big ball slam. Five more. Boom. Breathe out, smash it. Shake the house. Time. We're gonna go with a jack press up. I'm gonna switch balls to a heavier one, actually, in a different shape. So the ball's here. You push it up. When the feet go apart, jack press up. Go, go, begin. Jack press up. Constantly be switching this camera for you so you can get different angles. You jump apart when the ball goes up. Arms fully extend overhead. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time. All right. And the fourth one is going to be just a sit up. I'm going to use a bigger ball for this one. Go up there, see if you can see me laying on the jump around. Quick, quick, quick. Can you see me on the left screen? No. You're gonna sit up with your medicine ball right on your back, on your back, holding your ball. Facebook's got a weird angle for these live videos. Right here. They can see you from above. So you're just gonna place all this space, you're right up my ass. Tap it to the floor above your head. And come up and just tap to the floor. It never comes out of your hands. Tap, tap. Full sit up. Control it down, don't slam down. You're not slamming the ball either, you're just tapping it. You're in control of it the whole time. Tap it. Control it. Boom. Sit up. Strong. It's a little tap. Two more. Complete control. Boom. Boom. We're repeating that exact same round. So you're going to flip right over. Right arm is still on the ball for the push up. I'm going to try this high one, see what happens. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to even move. Let's, let's see. Right hand. I can do it. Right hand on the ball. Going to 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. 10, yes. Right down to your feet. Start those slams. Regular ball slam. Go, tight slams. Come on, switch the camera. You got to start. So they can see you. Regular ball slam. Reach up. And boom. Breathe it out. Freaking ground and jack press up when the feet jump apart ball goes up three two one go pump it out bouncing your step landing your feet 
Pump it. Breathe it. One more. One, two, three, four. Right to your sit up. Right to the sit up. Finishes off this group. We're hitting two sets each. Two times through. Sit up. Tap that ball to the floor. Come down slow, control. Breathe. Two more. And time, shake it. Shake it out, recover. Listen, it's a lot of upper body work here. Getting this cardio effect. So on this little breather, Shake your arms. Active recovery. I see your ass at home. If you're just sitting around, doing nothing, we're just going to start the round. You're going to lose this active recovery time. You better be moving. It better be active recovery. This is our second training session of the day. We did a boot camp class early this morning. 6 a.m. for us here on the West Coast. 3.15 p.m. for this boot camp class. Stretch it. Shake it. Also, make sure you stay tuned. 5.30 p.m. right here, Facebook Live, also over on Instagram. Live is Steve Says, episode number 88. That's 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern. Coming up just a couple hours after this workout is complete. A live Steve Says episode about personal development, about getting your mind right, your body right, your business right. That's what it's all about. about really about getting your shit together. It's a, a different peak freak perspective on life, on personal development on what you need to do to get your shit together to get to the next level. How to have some discipline, how to have more energy, how to have confidence, how to take action and attack your day, and how to be your fucking freak self. That's what Steve says is all about. And during Steve says, there's gonna be a lot of things that maybe you don't wanna hear, but it's gonna be shit you need to hear. So stay tuned, right back here, live, 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern, today. Live Steve says episode. All right, let's get back to the training. So you know we're starting with push-ups every round. So this round's gonna be left hand on the ball. Easy stuff. Left hand on the ball, make sure you sit something on that little break. Hydrated. Let's do it. The push-up starts, left hand on the ball. We're going in three, two, one, and go. All we need is 10. Nice and slow though, we want a slow 10. You're getting some work in there. Five, tight, stiff as a board. Last two. Nice, we're going to our slam. This round has a twist slam, you're gonna pivot the feet, twisting it side to side. Going overhead, it's gonna keep adjusting the camera here so you can see the high stuff. High slam, twist slam. All the way overhead. Whatever direction I'm slamming to, pivot the opposite by the side foot. Go, begin. Reach up, boom. Twist and slam. Bam. Hard, hard slam, ride that wave. Right overhead. That ball never stops moving, you catch it and you just wing it overhead. Going to your ab set, or sorry, your jack set, jack press out. Nice, stop putting it over here every time. What are you doing? Keep your balls on your side. The way you put it down, you walk back over to get it again. Jack press out. Feet go apart, ball goes forward. Three, two, one, go. Pump it out. Pump it. Bounce it. Shove it, five more. 
One, two, three, four, five. Half set is a trunk twist sitting on the floor for a trunk twist. Ass on the ground. You're just gonna twist side to side and tap your ball on the floor to both sides. They can be on the floor, they can be in the air, you know what works for you. If you have a lower back issue, whatever it is, modify it. Tap. See, I'm not smashing it. Nice and slow. Go slow this one. I want you squeezing, controlling the movement, twisting. Tap it. Four more each side. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Flip right over for your push ups with the left hand on the ball. I did one low, one high with the right hand. So I'm going to do one low, one high with the left hand. Kind of weird on this high one, but we're going to make it happen. Go, begin. Nice slow 10. Slow and controlled. Put your feet as close together as you can, but as far apart as you need to. If you need a little stability and balance, put them apart. Stiff as a board. Five more. Last two. And we're going to the twist slam. Start twist slam. Twist slam, reaching overhead, smashing it to the floor, pivoting the feet, whatever side you twist to, pivot the opposite side foot, so your whole body turns 180 degrees, hard, sprint it, sprint it out, breathe out, exhale when you burst it down. Jump apart. Ball goes out away from the body. Three, two, one, go. We're going 20 of them. One, two. Hey, extend the arms. Ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. On your back for that twist. Ab twist. Finish off this group. Crunch the abs. Twist side to side. Right here. Tap. Lean back. We're going slow on these. Turn the whole torso. Don't just reach with the shoulders. Twist the whole body. We're going to 20. Too bad I don't know where we're on. We'll call that 12. Hurt. 14, 15, tighter, tighter, squeeze it. 17, 18, 19, time. And that's that group. Each group gets done twice. Shake it, stretch it, hydrate. Get ready for the next week around. Listen, the training part, the actual exercises, the physical part, sure it's hard to do sometimes, but it's not brain surgery. It's it requires more mental than physical to get these workouts done, to get through these workouts, to get to the number you say you're gonna to get to, to do it every single freaking day. It takes a lot more mental than it does physical. And I've been seeing too much of the mental stuff slipping up, which is then causing the physical stuff to slip up. Listen, you can do push-ups and jumping jacks every day. If you did 100 push-ups, 100 jumping jacks every single day, you'd get in shape, you'd stay in shape, you'd probably lose a ton of weight. You need to have the right mindset, the right focus, working on yourself, working on the right your personal development, working on having a positive attitude, working on setting goals, working on having habits all throughout your day, all throughout your life, both personally and professionally. This is what it's about. So that's what this is going to be shifting gears these workouts towards, is getting your shit together a lot more on a personal level, a lot more on a mindset level, because that's where it all starts from. If you want to go deep into this, again, 5.30 p.m. today, Pacific, 8.30 
Eastern. Steve says episode number 88. We're going to talk all about this on a deep, deep level about your mindset, about your personal development, what you are, what you should or should not do, what you might not be doing, what you need to be doing, what you need to stop complaining about, all that good stuff. All right, get a sip of water, hydrate, stretch, recover. We're getting ready to roll in a second. Round's gonna start with a push up. We did a round on the right arm. We did a round on the left arm. This round's gonna be both arms. Both hands balancing on the top of it. Tricep push up, like a diamond push up, but balancing on the ball. That's gonna be the start. Then it's gonna be split jack press up for the cardio. The slam is gonna be a kneeling slam on your knees. And then the ab set is gonna be. A uh, bridge knee tuck, where you're holding the ball straight up in the air. Bridge knee tuck, all to your knees. Don't worry, you don't have all that. I'm gonna call it out, and I'm gonna do us freaks here. Gonna do it with you, so just follow right along. Stay with it. Angle you down to the floor for the push up to start. All right, so we're gonna roll it, or both hands on it, for the push up. So both hands on the ball, feet together if you can to make it harder. And chest taps the ball every time. We're going to 10, nice and slow. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Two more. Tight, step as board. Stay right there for kneeling slams. Kneeling on the floor. Of course, lazy. Right overhead and boom. If you can't slam, just do a chop. Smash it down hard. Bam. Bam. Right back. One to 20. Five more. Five more. Smash the shit out of it. We're going split jack press up. It means your feet. Here, look at my feet while the camera's down. So the feet will be here while I'm pressing the ball up and down. Go, Tice. Three, two, one. Begin. Split jack press up. Go to 20. 10 more. 10 more. Right here. 10. Nine. Hey. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. On your back. On your back in a bridge. Ass off the floor. All ten knee tucks while you're holding the ball straight up in the air. Maybe from a side or an angled view. Hold the ball straight up. Hips up. And slow. All ten knee tuck. Dig. Crunch it. Complete control. Squeeze the glutes. Knee comes all the way to the elbow. Tighter. Crunching that side of your waist that the knee is coming up. Push through the heel of the floor, the foot that stays on the floor. Four more. To each side. Two. Two. And flip it right over for that push up. That close grip push up. Hands on the ball. Begin. Go. Slow 10. This is for 80 push ups. Four more. Four more. Tighten up those abs. Suck it in. Right to your kneeling slam. This flow, look how easy this flows. You don't even get a break to stand up for me to move the damn camera. Let's go slam. 20, one, two, bash it. Abs are strong. 10 more. And 
We're on split jack press up. Feet go front to back. Ball goes up and down. Let's go. 20. Boom. Boom. back for those alternate knee tucks. Finishing this round and this group. That was two times through, right? Huh? That was two times through? Yeah. Right. Ball up. We're going 20 total, hips up. So 10 each side. One. One. Keep it tight. Two. Two. Three. Oh. Tighter abs. Squeeze your glutes. Five. Pinch your butt cheeks. Like you have to go to the bathroom real bad, you're holding it in. Try to make it home before you crap your pants. Oh, no, we're on. I'm talking about crap pants. Ten. Ten. And time. Shake it, shake it. Quick hydrate, quick recovery. Stretch your shoulders. Stretch those legs. Get them ready. Get loose. You know this round's gonna start off with some more push-ups. You're not done with your freaking push-ups yet. And in case you're wondering why we're adding in push-ups, even at this exercise, if you wanna join us, we're doing 24 hours worth of push-ups coming up on March 6th, from Saturday, March 6th at 12 noon, all the way to Sunday, March 6th, 12 noon. The Freak family and I are doing it. We've actually got a ton of people on board across the country doing this for a fundraiser. We're gonna be donating to the local chapter here in Orange County, California of the Big Brothers Big Sisters organization this month. Every month we're doing another extreme fitness freak family fitness challenge going to either the boys or not the, the Big Brothers Big Sisters here in Orange County or the animal shelter, local animal shelter. So we have people all over the country doing this same thing, getting sponsors, getting donations for their 24 hour push up challenge and they're donating to their local Big Brothers Big Sisters in their different states all across the country. So that's March 6th. So if you want to do that with us, you can join us. You can actually do it yourself. Or you can just sponsor us and say you could sponsor it for five cents a push-up, one cent a push-up, whatever it is. You can sponsor it for $10 for every thousand push-ups. It doesn't matter. Every little bit adds up. But I'll tell you what, in 24 hours, we're going to get thousands and thousands of push-ups. I know I'm going to. I know little freak show Tyson's going to. So... Choose wisely on how you how you how you uh, how you sponsor it. So more information is coming on that soon. Stretch those shoulders out. Think about it for 24 hours. If we did just one push-up a minute, every minute for 24 hours straight, that'd be 1,440 push-ups. 1,440. There's 1,440 minutes in a day in 24 hours, and we're not going to sleep. There might be some points where we take a five-minute, not do any in five minutes as a recovery, depending on how how things are going and how brutal the shit gets but it's just breaking them up into sets for 24 hours straight with all the all the donations and all the sponsorships going 100 percent of it the, the profits going to the big brothers big sisters here in orange county california all right let's get set up for push-up this one you're gonna do a push-up with your right hand on the ball in the up position you're gonna roll the ball over to the left hand you're gonna do a push-up with your left hand on the ball just alternating side get your last sip of water let's get ready to roll Ready to rock. Get your medicine ball. All right. Angle the camera down so you can see what we got going on down on the floor. Let's roll. So it's going to be a nice slow set. Three, two, one. We are rolling. Push over the right. Roll it over to the left. Slow transition. This is a slow set we're doing here. You could do these faster if you want, but we're looking for a slow set today to make it just a little harder. Slow motion push-up. Control on the way down. Squeeze on the way up. Slow roll. Switch. Get locked in position. There's six. 
Two more each side. No, already. One more each. That was, this is our fourth set, times 10, that was 60, 70. You've done 80 push-ups already, something like that. Yeah, we've done 20, 20 around and 10 in the beginning. We haven't done this second set here. All right, we're gonna do jump slams. Jump slams your medicine ball. Jump and slam. So you jump up, as you land, slam it. 20. Keep it smooth. No impact on your knees or back. Eight more. And time. We got jack, press, split, or front jack, split jack, press out. Feet go front to back. Ball goes front and back. Three, two, one, go. 20 of them. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. And on your back, water kicks with presses. Flutter kicks with presses. Yeah. On your back. Go, press it out. Go on five, 20 presses. Five more. Time. Right back to that rolling push-up, where you're just pushing it across, side to side. Let's trade out my balls. Let's go. Right arm, roll it over. Left arm, nice and slow. This will finish off 90 push-ups so far for the day, mixed in. Without even realizing it, you're gonna get over 100 push-ups this workout. Six. Let's get two more each side. Breathe it out. Last one. Tie. Jump slam coming up. Oh, I didn't even change the camera for that one, really. Oh, well, you got cut off. Jump slam. Let's do it. Get some air, go. There's 10, we're going to 20. Go front to back. Ball goes front and back 20 times. Three, two, one, go. Ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. On your back for those presses. With flutter kicks. Press and flutter kick. Let's do it. Press and flutter kick. Go. Ten more. Go to twenty. Two. Three. Four. Pump it out. Keep those abs tight. And that's the round. Pump it out. Recover. Shake it. Hydrate it. So we did four different groups that each had four exercises 
We did each one twice. So that was, I don't know how many, or that was 100, 100 push-ups now you've done, no, 90 push-ups, right? 90 push-ups you've done so far total, mixed into that workout. What we're gonna do here, this round, is we're gonna take the four ball slam exercises and do them all in a row with just two reps of each. So two regular slams, two twist slams, two kneeling slams, two jumping slams. Then back to two regular, two twists, two kneeling, two jump for a full round. And then we're gonna repeat that same thing for the jack presses. Two jack press up, two jack press out. Two split jack up, two split jack out. Those are the next two rounds coming up. So this first one's gonna be just the ball slams, all the different variations of the ball slam coming up back to back. So two reps of each. You ready to roll, Tice? Yeah. We're gonna do this. Quick sip of water, hydrate, we're jumping right back into it. It's gonna be all the slams combined into one round. Let's do it, get your ball. Regular slams to start. Two slams. Let's go. Begin, boom, two. Two twist slam. Two kneeling slams, get down to your knees quick. Boom, boom. Hop back up, two jump slam. Two regular slam. Two twist slam. Two kneeling slam without bashing your freaking knees. Two jump slam. Two regular. Two twist. Two kneel, we go through this five times. This is our third time through. Two jump. Fourth round, two regular. Two twist. Two kneel. Two jump. Two regular, last round. Two twist. Ah. Oh. A ball kids sway shape. Two kneel, slam it too hard, it got all weird and out of shape. So it's bouncing, weird direction, finish off round five, two jump, time. All right. Oh yeah, five rounds of that. All right, we have all the different jack presses coming up. So it's jack press up for two, jack press out. Then split jack press up where the feet go front to back, ball goes up and split to jack press out where the feet go front to back and the ball goes front and back. All the same ones we've done throughout this workout. You've already done full set two, two full sets of each of these so you should know exactly what they freaking are. We can stretch those legs and we're rolling. We are rolling. Let's do it. So two jack press up to start. Three, two, one, go. Two up, two out. Split jack up for two, split jack out for two. That's one, two up, two out. Split up for two, split out for two. That's two rounds, we're going five rounds. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two more rounds, one, two, one, two. Split up, split out, regular up, regular out, split up, split out. That's five rounds, I went by fast. If you did it right, if you kept up pace, if you were paying attention. Wait, that five? I think it was five. Yeah, five, we can check the video tape, I'll count it as five. All right, we're now gonna do all the four ab rounds back to back, but we're gonna do a full round of each. Full exercise of each, full round of each exercise. And if you remember, we start with the sit up. It was the sit up, it was the trunk twist, seated twist, it was the alternating knee tuck, and it was the press with the flutter kicks. We're gonna do a full set of each of those to finish the abs off. So I'll keep it down on the ground, 
for the whole time. Starting with the sit up. Full sit up. Ball taps the floor overhead. Let's do it. Four sets in a row. I'll tell you when to switch exercises. Begin. Tap it. Sit up. Tap. Control down. Right back up. Control it. Four more. Tight abs, keep it strong. Control, two more, last two. All right, we're going right to that trunk twist. Right here, sit back and just tap it. Going to 20 total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tap it, squeeze it, keep it tight. Halfway there. Good. On your back, alternate knee tucks. Holding the ball straight up in the air for 20. 20 alternate knee tucks. Go. Tighter, tighter abs, tighter glutes. Eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, keep it strong. Four more each side. Four. Time. And flutter kicks, pressing the ball up. We're counting the kicks. We're doing 100 flutter kicks to finish off. I don't care how many presses it is, we're gonna be counting kicks. Going in three, two, one, Go! Two, four, four six, six, eight, eight ten, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, two, four, four, six, six eight, eight, thirty-two, two, four, four, six, eight, forty-two, four, six, eight, fifty, halfway two, there! Four, six, eight, six, forty to go! All right, freaks. We finished all our rounds there. We got some bonus rounds in at the end. All of our groups with the medicine ball. If this workout showed you one thing, it's that you don't need little to no equipment and little to no space to get a complete full body training session in. You can get in the best shape of your life right from your home and probably even in better shape right from your home than you do when you go out and train and have to go drive to the gym and you get distracted and you're there for a social gathering. This is your time. This is your hour to focus on you, to block out the rest of the world, put the notifications off on your phone and focus on you, working on yourself, putting yourself first for the first time in a long time. Probably, maybe for some of you, the first time ever. It's your 60 freaking minutes of the day to go all out and all in on yourself to push it as hard as you can, to always figure out a way to make it happen, to modify, adapt, and overcome. And this is gonna help you get your shit together, not just physically, but mentally. That's what this is all about. This is a mental game. If you haven't noticed that from the way shit has gone in the last nine months, the physical part is the easy part because nothing happens until it happens here first. It's all about you, your control, your focus, your mindset. So join me if you want to talk about, we're going to be talking about this on a deep level, this personal development or lack of personal development in, the, in this country right now. And it's sorely needed a little bit of coaching and guidance and mentoring 
and positivity and motivation and freaking discipline. A different type of energy. Bringing a different type of energy to the room and to the environment that you're in. That should be your goal everywhere you fucking go is to raise the energy level of the situation, of the room, of the conversation, of the freaking internet, whatever it is, of the universe. Right, notch it up, raise it up a notch, the energy level of the universe in every freaking encounter you have. So we're gonna talk about this on a deep level here on Steve Says, episode number 88, coming up right here, live on Facebook, also over on Instagram at 5.30, so about an hour and a half from now. 5.30 Pacific time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. I will see you then. Awesome workout, hairy fist knuckle bump, whatever it's called, hairy fist bump. You are freaking awesome. No excuse, I'm sure Little Freak Show has something he wants to share with you. No excuse! Very, 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 very normal child. I can't imagine who gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.